Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here and welcome to episode 17 of the Minecraft 1.17 Survival Let's Play. Here we are back in the world and things are going to start to get pretty awesome because in the last episode we finally, finally defeated the Ender Dragon and got ourselves all of the goodies that go along with that. Now in the last episode, unfortunately, we did not find any end cities. I didn't really look too hard for end cities, I just looked a little bit around the spawn area and we didn't have any luck. So today, I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks. Some are pretty common, but some are a little more rare and not a lot of people know about to help you guys find end cities so that we can get ourselves an elytra. Now after we get the elytra, I think what I'll do is probably head to our automatic AFK sugarcane farm and probably grab some sugarcane to turn it into paper so that we can trade that paper for emeralds and get ourselves a mending book so we can put mending on our elytra. After we get our elytra, we're pretty much set. I mean, we have pretty much some of the best armor, weapons, tools in the game. I could use a few more mending books and maybe, you know, a trident and a bow. Those are the only other things I don't have. But I have a decent amount of XP right now, so maybe we can also do a bit more enchanting. And hopefully, when we're in the end cities, we can get some pretty good loot besides an elytra. So, before we go end city hunting, there's a few things I like to bring just to be safe in case there's anything that could potentially go wrong. I like to have a few stacks of building blocks just so, you know, I can build from island to island. If this isn't enough, what I can you do is use my pickaxe to mine some of the end stone to jump more from island to island. Also, maybe bring some ender pearls. Once we're in the end, I'll probably make a little bit of an enderman farm. You know, just build a few blocks above me, kill them with my sword to get a lot of ender pearls because I do have looting three. And also a water bucket. The water bucket is just for a few things. One, if you're in an end city and accidentally fall down, you can use the water bucket to help mitigate some of the fall damage. But also, if you end up getting overwhelmed by some endermen, it's really easy to just plop down a bucket of water underneath you and hide right in the center so that none can get to you. And of course, I, I didn't mean to uh, didn't mean to mess up my pond. <laughs> it's okay, we can get it. Now there's also a few things we can do while we're in the end to uh, make the end city hunting easier and also find more end cities. So I'm gonna head to the stronghold. We'll head inside the end and I'll show you guys what we can do. All right, here we are in the end, and I built my way up to the portal, so let's flop in here. Now, there's also one more thing I brought with me that I totally forgot to mention, and that is some firework rockets. Now, the reason I have these is because once we get our elytra, it's gonna be really useful to have some firework rockets just so we can plop ourselves in the air and get home easily. Now, to find end cities, what I usually do, and you can do this if your computer can handle it, is plot my render distance up all the way to 48 chunks. Now, 48 chunks is the default max, but there is actually a secret way that you can turn the render distance up even higher. Now, this will cause a lot of lag, so if your computer can handle it, uh, that's great. I know mine's gonna start lagging here pretty soon, so you can always, you know, turn down your graphics and things like that. But, let me show you guys a cool way that you can actually artificially enable your render distance to be way higher than it ever could be. So here we are on my desktop, and if you're a Minecraft veteran, you definitely know how that you can get into your Minecraft settings. But in case you don't know how, I'm gonna show you guys. So when you're on a Windows computer, go here and type in run. After that, you'll get this little box to show up, type in percent app data percent, click OK, and scroll all the way down to dot Minecraft. Now once you're here, these are all your Minecraft files, and you wanna find the file that says options. Now, if you're going to change anything in here, you want to do it when your Minecraft game is closed. So mine is open, so I'm not going to change anything right now. But what you can actually do is adjust your settings in here however you want, and you can adjust things beyond the normal means of Minecraft. So for example, here's Gamma, and I have my Gamma set all the way up in Minecraft, which is 1.0. But if I wanted to, I could do 100, and 100 would make my game permanently fully bright. But right here we have render distance and the default highest render distance you can go within the settings of Minecraft is 48. Now what you can actually do is set this to whatever number you want. Now I wouldn't set it to like a thousand because after you log into Minecraft and wait a little bit your game is going to get really laggy it'll probably crash. So I'd experiment going up by small numbers at a time. If 48's the max maybe start off with 56 and then go up to 60 something and if you can handle it maybe go into the 70's or 80s and that way you can artificially inflate your render distance super high now again be careful because this will lag your minecraft a lot and if it's lagging too much 
you can just go back into your settings and turn it back down. So for now, I am going to leave it at 48 just for the sake of recording because I don't want it to be too laggy. But if you wanted to, you could set this however high you want. That way you have way more chunks loaded in and more potential to see end cities. I would definitely recommend you have Optifine installed if you're doing this. One, so that Optifine helps save a little bit of FPS. But two, you can also use the zoom feature with Optifine to help zoom in and see what's going on in your world. All right, using Optifine zoom, I cannot see any end cities nearby. So what I'm gonna do is just start building to this nearest large island with some of my cobblestone and we'll make our way over there. I'll also maybe use some ender pearls once we get close. Now, you do wanna be careful also when zooming in and searching like this because of course, you don't wanna accidentally look an enderman directly into the eyes or or else you might you might accidentally trigger the enderman. It'll teleport to you and it might knock you off. So, you know, I have to be really careful here. I don't have an elytra yet. If I fall, I could die. Now, I do have the ender pearls in my inventory so that at least, you know, I'll have a little bit of a chance to try to survive, but I have to be really careful. Definitely have to hold shift as long as I can and have to be super careful. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep hopping from island to island, place to place, and try to find myself an end city. You know, I've been very lucky before and sometimes I spawn right next to an end city. Sometimes it can take hours of searching, though. It really just depends. And whoop, Okay, we made it. We made it. We're okay. So yeah, like I said, sometimes you can find one really easily. Sometimes it takes, you know, a few minutes. Sometimes it could take a few hours. I live streamed once trying to find end cities and we were searching for, I think, four or five hours before we found an end city. So sometimes it can take a really long time. You just have to get lucky. That's why I definitely recommend you keep your render distance as high as you can without totally lagging out your game. Uh, once I'm not recording, I'll probably crank my render distance a bit higher, but I will lag a bit while doing that, so <laughs> that's why I didn't want to do it on camera. Oh, yes. Oh, there we oh, no, no. We have the Enderman after us. Uh-oh. Let's grab the water. Okay, well, well, <laughs> besides the Enderman, we finally did it. We finally found ourselves in N-City. With the, with the magic power of editing, it's probably only been, you know, a couple seconds for you guys. For me, it's been a little bit. I don't think it's been too long I, I don't know it definitely hasn't been an hour maybe like half an hour I've been searching for this I think I'm only about two ish thousand blocks away from uh, my spawn point maybe a little bit less but here we go now the good thing is not only do we have the end city but we have the end ship and the reason we want the end ship of course is because that's where you find all the good stuff that's where you find the elytra that's where you find the dragon head so we don't really even need anything else in the rest of the end city because we pretty much already have perfect armor weapons and tools again like i was saying before there's a few more things we could potentially upgrade but for the most part we're pretty set so we're definitely going to mostly go for just the end ship but i'll still explore the rest of the end city just to see what kind of loot and good stuff we can get and there's also a few things we should be doing while looting the end city to sort of maximize the benefit first thing is mining any potential blocks you want to build with in the future so for example i know end rods are super popular to build with so definitely collect those if you want the rest of the blocks aren't anything too crazy if you want the purple blocks that's cool, you can mine them. I personally don't build with them too much, so I don't care too much about mining them, but I'll also take a screenshot of the coordinates of this end city so I can come back here if I ever need any of these blocks in the future. The other thing I also do is at least kill... Ah, oh, there we go, we got the achievement. I also kill at least a few of the shulkers. I don't worry about killing every single shulker I find, but I like to kill a decent amount just so I can get some shells. I always try to at least leave the end my first time, you know, with the end cities, with at least, you know, enough shulker shells to make three, four shulker boxes, something like that. I don't often use a lot of shulker boxes, but it's nice to have a few in case I make a build that's far away, or if I just want to move some stuff in my world to a different location. All right, let's see. Let's start off searching this little tower. This is actually a pretty large end city. Normally, they aren't that big. Sometimes they're pretty small. Sometimes they're pretty big. All right, I guess let's just fly up and take these out. Now, we do have looting three, so it looks like we're... Oh. Oh, we're getting a decent amount of shulker shells. I'll just keep trying to make my way through here, uh, you know, gathering what we can. Hopefully we get pretty lucky and get some pretty good stuff. You know, I, I really don't need any armor or anything like that, but it's still, all, you know, it's still fun sometimes when you get some good loot. So I'm going to let these guys hit me on purpose so that I can just easily fly up here and take these guys out on the way. Boom, okay. Come on, keep hitting me. 
Keep hitting me. Don't teleport away. I need that levitation to get to the top here. And we're getting tons of shulker shells. This is pretty crazy. The looting three and the diamond sword was... Or netherite sword, I should say. It's definitely worth it. Let's see. Okay, here's some chests. Let's see if there's some good loot inside of here. Uh, oh, we got a saddle. Okay. I don't know if we've gotten a saddle yet in this world. I don't think so, because I don't have a horse yet. Uh, mending fire protection chest plate. Okay. Pretty cool. Sharpness three diamond sword. I'll take it. I don't have mending on my chest plate yet, so that might come in handy. Let's keep trying. Okay, I can hit these away now. Let's keep trying to make our way up here while hitting these little balls away so we, get, we don't get levitated out of here. Whew, let's be careful. Okay, we can do it. Okay, anything else up here? No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll have to make our way into some of the other buildings. Let's be careful up these two. So let's explore this one first. Okay, how many shulker shells are we at after this? Let's see. Oh, we're at five. Okay, so we have a decent amount. Diluting three is making it pretty easy. Let's see what kind of chests we have in here. If anything, there, there sometimes there aren't chests in any of these areas. Okay. We see one chest, though, so that's good. Let's take this guy out, and then let's see what's in this chest. Uh, silk Touch Shovel. Oh, but it's iron. I don't really care too much about it. I'll take the Protection 3 Diamond Helmet, and a hey, a Mending Pickaxe. Okay. Maybe we'll try to get Silk Touch on that pickaxe, since I don't have a Silk Touch pickaxe yet. That'd be pretty useful. I would take the Ender Chest if I did have a Silk Touch pickaxe, but I don't, unfortunately. So... I'm going to make my way up here. We're going to fly up here, block this off so we can just chill up here for a sec and figure out where we need to go next. I think up that tower, right? Or is that where we went already? Yeah, no, I don't think we went up there yet. So let's try to make our way down. Let's be careful. I'll eat a little bit of food first. Let's see if we can water bucket. Nope, that wasn't even close. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so we're going to make our way over here. Boom. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. We can do it. We can do it. Okay. There we go. So... We're going to fly this way, and if they hit us, that's okay. We're going to make our way right here. Boom, perfect. Okay, let's see what kind of chests are inside of here now. Hopefully, there's some pretty good chests inside of here. There's at least some chests, so there's some type of loot. Uh, ooh, diamond horse armor. Okay, a pretty good sword with mending, and a pretty good pickaxe that we don't really need. Okay, I'm going to take a golden apple just because I was neglecting my health. Now, I think there should... I don't think there's going to be a chest on top of here. If there is, that'll be cool, but I don't think there's going to be a chest up here. I don't think there usually is a chest in this type of building. But after this, we can make our way over to the boat and get ourselves the elytra, some regeneration potions, and potentially some other good loot. So, let's see what we can get. Okay, we're at six shulker shells, which is a pretty good. That's a tongue twister. So, now let's try to make our way over there. What I'm going to do, we're going to ender pearl on top of this building. Hopefully not triggering too many Endermen on the way. I gotta look down. I don't want to look any Endermen in the face. Okay, where'd the Endermen go? I don't want to start building over to the end ship while there's an Enderman after me. I don't think that's going to end well. Uh, okay, we're, we were already in there. Okay, well, I guess we're, we're, we're going to have to. If the Enderman hits me off, I can just use my Ender Pearl and hop back on. Hopefully we don't have to build over the Void. Let's look. Do we have to go on top of the Void or no? Uh, we're close, but we, we don't have to go over the Void. But we're pretty dang close, so let's be careful and just hope that the Enderman doesn't come up here while we're building this. Um, okay, let's build up a little bit so we're at the same level as this end ship because I'll probably just try to ender pearl my way onto the end ship. I want to be careful though, also, because this little shulker boy over here might try to, you know, make me levitate in the air while I'm trying to get over there, and that also wouldn't be really good. Okay, ender pearl, boom. Okay, we did it. Okay, we're safe. Let's get rid of these shulker boys now. Get their shells. And after this, we should have a decent amount of shulker shells. I don't think we'll really need any more after this. At least, any more for a while. And of course, we have to come over here, be very careful, and grab the dragon head. Ooh, let me make sure I have room in my inventory. I've had many dragon heads fall into the void because I didn't watch how much inventory room I had. And boom, we got, we got ourselves good old dragon head. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. Put the helmet back on, and let's grab ourselves the elytra. Finally, we're about to get it. I'm super excited. Finally an elytra in this world. Okay. We gotta screenshot this. Boom. Okay, perfect. Let's take this boy out. Sorry, buddy. Okay, let's see. What's inside of here? The gold? I'll take that. I'll take the beetroot seeds, I guess. I mean, another... Another mending shovel, okay. Boom. Let's grab the elytra. Uh, let's throw that out. Boom! Sky's the limit, okay. Any other... Th nope. Nothing else really that good, okay. Hmm. Well, I don't even need that shovel. So... There we go. Let's pop that bad boy on. We have our firework rockets. Okay, sweet. Now, <laughs> we can finally use the elytra. I think we explored all of the end city, correct? Yes. No. Did I go over there? 
I don't think I did go over there. Let's check it out. We can just fly over there, of course. I'm not sure. I don't really remember where I went. Let's see if there's anything. Anything up here? There's still a shulker right here, so I don't think I was over here. Unless the shulker teleported his way over here. But I don't think I've been here. Let's look. I think I, I, think I skipped out on this area. Uh, oops. Okay. Let's just try to make our way back up and see what we can find. Let's try to make our way up here. I'll leave the elytra equipped for now, I guess. It'll be nice to have. I mean, the levitation kind of makes it easy. Oh, wait. Which way was it? Over here? No. On top of this tower, right? I wanted to get up there. Okay, maybe we'll use our elytra to get up there. Let's see. Okay, well, maybe not. Can I use my elytra? No, I can't use it while levitating. Okay. I didn't know if you could or not. I was going to see if you could. I wasn't entirely sure. So, once we're up here, the levitation should stop. Let's put our chest plate on. Let's get our water in hand because we need to be careful. Because we're going to take some fall damage. I'm, I'm ready for it. Come on. We can do it. Okay, we did it that time. So, I don't think, I don't think I've been over there. Let's pop the elytra on. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that wasn't the best. I'm not the greatest with an elytra. Let's be careful. Oh, yeah, I think I was here. Okay, I was. I was definitely here before, and we decided that there wasn't going to be any loot in there. So, I think that's pretty much it for this end city. But overall, I think it was pretty successful. Not only did we get the elytra and the dragon head, but we got some other pretty good loot. I'm really excited about the saddle and the horse armor, though, because we have not gotten a horse before in this world. All right, all right, here we are back at the base. I flew to the portal with my elytra, made it pretty easy, and we're back. So let's throw all this crap in here, because we don't really need most of it. And we're pretty set. We got a lot of really decent loot. I'm really I'm really proud of it. I think, I think we're doing pretty good in this survival world, and things are going to go... Very well for us. For now, let's just let's just throw the dragon head right there. I'll move it. I'll move it somewhere else probably in the future. But for now, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right up there. So what I'm going to do now, just because I don't want this elytra to potentially break at all, is we're gonna go all the way over to the automatic sugarcane farm, grab some sugarcane, and then get ourselves some emeralds. I do have a villager that'll trade paper for emeralds, and then we have our mending villager, so we can trade for that. I might already have enough emeralds for a mending book. I don't really know. We'll have to check again in, in the future, but, you know, I'll just I'll just trade now because I haven't emptied out this farm in a while. It might even be full. I have no idea. Let's see how much sugarcane is in these chests. And, uh, oh, it's not quite full, but we do <laughs> we do have a ton of sugarcane, and this will get us a ton of paper and ultimately a ton of emeralds. I just want to get the mending on the elytra because once before in my world, I was very dumb. I wasn't paying attention to the durability of my elytra, and it broke. I didn't have mending on it. I didn't have them breaking on it. I didn't do anything. And that was the only elytra I had, so then I had to go to the end and search for hours again for another elytra. So, I like to at least have two elytras in my world just to back up in case one breaks, or I somehow lose one, accidentally throw it somewhere, or, you know, in case I die in the void. So, two is always nice to have, so we'll probably go back into the end sometime in the future and try to search for another one. I might do it on video, might do it on a stream, I'm not sure yet, we'll have to see. But, let's just get all this trading done with, because this is going to take a while. Oh, the numbers worked out perfectly, and it gave me exactly 32 paper at the end with no sugar cane left over. I love it. So, now we just have to go through the village and try to search for our villagers. Hopefully none of them have died, because I don't really have too many defenses around here. We do have a lot of iron golems, but I don't really have light around the village, and I don't have any walls. If we need to, we can just, you know, make the villagers again, if we really have to. But I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure there's he's somewhere around here. I know... I know I have them. They might be hidden. The villagers might be hidden. But I know they're somewhere. They have to be in one of these houses. I have so many beds now and so many villagers that they could really be anywhere. Let's see. Anywhere in here? They might also sometimes, maybe they wound up in the villager breeder. So we can check inside of there. Well, I found my mending villager, but I couldn't find the villager that traded paper for emeralds. So, had to get myself a lectern and make myself a new one. And he trades 24 paper for one emerald, which is a pretty good trade, and I don't need too many emeralds for a mending book. I also have some emeralds in my chest at home, so I think we'll definitely be all set on the number of emeralds. All we need to trade for the mending book is some emeralds, and we also need, oh, let's let him level up. We also need to get ourselves a book, and I have a book, so we're all set. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have enough emeralds. I believe it's 30 something? I think it was 32. It was either 32 or 36, so yeah. We're definitely going to have enough, but here we go. Let this boy level up. 
Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing pretty good on the trades. Well, we have the 32, and I think I have like 18 in my chest. So <laughs> we definitely have more than enough emeralds. And looks like he doesn't want to trade any more paper. So it's all right because we don't really need him anymore. So we can head back and finally get ourselves the mending book and put that mending book on the elytra. All right, all right. Here we go. The elytra, mending book, and boom. There we go. We have mending on our elytra. We finally got the elytra, which I think is always a huge achievement in a world because the elytra makes things so much easier it makes moving around so much easier and it's also hard to get so i feel like once you get it it's a pretty large achievement but anyways guys that's going to be all for today's video i genuinely hope you guys enjoyed and if you did enjoy consider leaving a like subscribing on the channel and all that good stuff uh hopefully this video helped you out you know hopefully it can make finding your own elytra a lot easier hopefully you enjoyed some of the tips and tricks again i really i really suggest you guys install optifine really helps with stuff like this. But that's all for this video. My name is Jay Wisp, and I will see you guys all in the next episode.